Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk to you about the importance of Shavasana. So Shavasana is the last pose that you'll do traditionally in most yoga classes. It's also called corpse pose. So it's the pose in which you're laying on your back. It's almost kind of like a sleeping type pose, right? So your legs are slightly apart, your feet are slightly turned out, your hands and arms are slightly away from your body just a little so there is a specific way to do shavasana it's all, not all clenched and tight together it's a very relaxed um, you know body relaxation sleeping corpse type pose and so often at the end of a class a teacher will have you in corpse pose for a minute um, or maybe more maybe less and the teacher might walk you through some breathing exercises or a little med little meditation or you know provide you some closure for the end and i know some students are like whew i just want to get out of here why are we doing this or some students are like oh this is the best part this is magic this is so calming and so i wanted to talk about why shavasana is important and so staying in shavasana after a yoga practice for a minute or more preferably maybe 3 minutes right Staying in there for a little bit more time than you maybe want to stay in is important because it allows the body the time and the space to actually incorporate the information that you just put into your body and into your muscles during the last you know, 30 to 90 minute yoga practice you had. So when you're doing all these active asanas or even yin asanas that are very passive, you're still programming this kind of these shapes, these uh, muscle, you know, tension, stretching, releasing, contracting, like all these things are, are programming into your body and when you relax in Shavasana it allows that information to soak up and soak on in and it's such a beautiful time it's also kind of a space for closure a space for you know to signify this is the ending of my practice like it's an important symbol um, in that sense and also important in practice because it is the time to honor the practice to be grateful for the practice to transition out of the practice and into daily life if you simply just jump up off your mat after a 30 minute 60 minute practice just jump up and go about your day you're missing out on something pretty key there. There's so much beauty in the Shavasana and kind of just allowing the self, the time and space, the little gift of a few minutes to just say, I'm gonna be still, I'm gonna be here, I'm gonna ground myself, I'm gonna root down and absorb all, um, all the awesome benefits of yoga that I just gained. Uh, and the, all the energy that just was stirred up, all the prana, everything that was just moving through me, now we're just gonna, we're gonna exhale, we're gonna sink, we're gonna let it be. And so while you might wanna rush out of Shavasana and take your shower and jump into the car and go to work, I just, I urge you to take an extra minute or two. It's really worth it. It really helps enhance all the benefits of yoga. So anyway, the importance of Shavasana. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you all over on my blog, wildyogatribe.com.